G'day to one and all, and welcome back to Unknown to Untouchable, you D Malila. We've played a few games, and things are going a little better. Let's get into it. Yes, so as you can see on the home screen down in the corner down here, I'll just move my head out the way for two seconds. We're out of the relegation zone, up in 13th. We've played a few games, like I said. Yeah, so things are looking a little better. Four wins, three draws, seven losses. Still not the best, but it's definitely better than what we were going through the, over the last few days. I decided to, to play a, a few games because we won two on the trot last episode and I thought maybe we had uh, delayed the sacking or stopped the, the sacking process uh, in its tracks. So we did and, um, and a few things happened. So we left you after the 5-2 thriller against Atletico B. We then went away to Atletico Belares, who are, are pretty decent in this league, so the third, and came away with a, a, an unlucky 2-1 defeat. Well, looking at that, yeah, it, it was quite even, but if we deserve more than, definitely more than uh, a loss, that's for sure. Glam over Laurie, scoring early for them. Oscar Gill scoring in the 24th minute and then we picked up a late consolation I be yeah Valori scoring a header from a free kick and David H Hero Harrow another free kick to Oscar Gill Averno pretending he doesn't have hands and our late consolation Higon deflection to Demesa Fernandez with the knockdown and Espinal with the nice finish and a 2-1 we then were at home to Barracaldo in the Copa RFEF quarterfinal. A 1-0 extra time victory for us. Um, complete and utter domination. Couldn't find a way through as a, the tale of our season uh, up until the last episode. And then Danny Espinar with a lovely late goal. Nice, here it is. Vega has it out wide, crosses it across to Carrie Underwood with a lovely little touch to Danny Espinar. 1 0 extra time in the 107th minute. So that meant we drew Atletico Belares in the semi final of the cup. Good thing about the next match is even if we lose, we get 10 grand. 10 grand. Drop in the ocean in it. But nevertheless, it will help us a little bit. Then, a brilliant 3-0 victory at home to Las Palmas Atletico. Las Palmas may have been a bit weary from all the travel. And they do have to fly from the Canary Islands into mainland Spain and then fly to Melilla or get the ferry or whatever. <laughs> So yeah, um, a long away trip for them, but an absolute killer performance. First, it was Carrie Underwood, who's coming into his own a little bit. Uh, another knockdown from Fernandez. He does that a lot. Um, he's had, picked up a few assists. Espinar with a, with a free kick to Amaya, who scores his second of the season from a cross. Carrie Underwood. Out to Higon, Deco with an absolute screamer once again. Deco's becoming a bit of a long shot specialist. And that wraps it. That was our last few games. Um, again, very, very, very positive. Uh, two games in the league, one loss, one win. You know, if we can keep that kind of form up, then we'll be fine. Um, 
Today we play Feral, and I decided to come back for this one just as a one-game uh, weekend upload, just because I, I I'm interested in Feral um, actually, uh, just to see what they they've got. You know, we we may make it a two-game one with Feral and the semi-final. We'll see how we go. I might shorten it a little bit. Um, I have been talking a lot in my episodes so um hopefully you still enjoy you know like i said to you in the first i do want to make it a bit more in depth and i want to talk through what i'm going through rather than just skipping the all the decision making and going straight through the games so um unfortunately maui picked up a a long-term injury uh in one of the matches he's out for three to five months he was a bit part player but nevertheless we don't have a big squad so it's any injury is a tough one to take and again Ishalalen and Avono on international duty. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> God, I'm in the third division. Why they got it in national duty for? Anyway, yeah. So Luis Guerra will get a a, a game. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. So I did go. I just spent some time, you know, over the last few episodes, I've been really concentrated on just playing matches and trying to get out of this slump. I kind of forgot to sort of go through uh, the the training, make sure that's all correct, um, mentoring and and stuff, and build the team from the admin side of things as well. I've completely forgot to do that. So I'll just quickly run through what I've sort of done with training. Now, as a semi-professional side, um, obviously, you only get two sort of days training a week. But what's unique about Malila is they're, it's in real life and in the game, they all their matches are played on Sundays to uh, compensate for their travel time because they have to travel so far. That actually gives us an extra little spot, um, which I'm taking advantage of. You may have noticed it up here. Um, we had a full week of training um, and I've um, got a training session on Tuesday, Thursday, and I've done a little match, tax di- match tactics session on the Saturday before the game, something that's not too uh, intensive, um, but will help us sort of gel and um, be better as a team. So whenever I have a full week, I'm going to try to utilise that, and which I'll show you right now. I'm just going to change this one down here this week because we have a full week before Ibiza. Made a couple of schedules, um, full week defending set pieces, say, so I want to work on, so it changes the sessions back one day, which is a really cool little loophole I've found. Um, So aerial defense, defending from the front, and then we have a little defensive shapes session on the Saturday. So we should have an advantage over our other semi-professional sides in the league um, and sort of close the gap between the professional sides who are training every day of the week. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing with my training. I do usually just get the assistant to organise it, but, um, you know, at some some points I do, I do kind of want to have a little input, especially if we can take advantage, take advantage and get another session in there i will definitely be doing that i'm just going to take you quickly through my sort of the the plays that are available for us now i have the basically there's no more room uh spanish rules in this league is that you can't have anyone uh you can't have more than 16 players over the age of 22 in the squad Um, i'm at that maximum with my 36 year old sightings so um so Basically, anyone that I can bring in, which probably will be this season, unless I can ship a couple of of um, people off. Pepe Romero in January. So, um, so yeah, I've been looking for some free agents popping up. Uh, I've scoured them honestly, and it's very, it's not not the best. You know, I, I don't want to go scouting across the country too much I've, I've looked at all the players really and there's nothing that's going to improve us um, I'm hoping in January we're gonna 
be able to sign a few players. We do need some depth now. If we get a couple of more injuries, we're in huge trouble. And we'll have to rely on some some of these players that aren't don't have a club, but they're fourth division players if if that some of these. So um, yeah, that's kind of you know I, I'm not um, being naive and not looking at new players. I'm always looking to see if there's anyone that pops up. Would have liked to brought to bring in an Aussie Spiros, but he's absolute dog rag. Right. So yeah, that's um a, a kind of rundown of my thoughts on a few little things in in the game. Let's get into the feral match. So just quickly, uh, the tables. Yeah, so feral are up in four. So it's a tough, tough, tough match today. Uh, we're uh, like I said, down in thirteenth. Um, yeah, a, a win will help us massively. We'll be sort of up in ninth, and you know that's gone from relegation candidates to sort of mid table pushing on to playoff candidates so it is it is tight in this middle section obviously Real Madrid Castilla running away with it a little bit in front of Rio Magidonda and Atletico Belares but our performance against Belares I think uh, is a good sign of where we are you know we are better than what we're showing uh, so we'll um, hopefully yeah we'll we'll push on here and give Ferrell a really good game um, I'll just move my my head again uh, to the other side yeah, so you can see top goal scorer is Carlos Fernandez after his hat trick. Deco and Carrie Underwood are um, chipping in as well, which is great. Highest average rating for Melilla is obviously Danny Espinar. He's been an absolute beast for us on a free as well, you know, and on a non-contract. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to free up some wages um, over the next couple of months to tie him down to a contract because I'm not losing him. I cannot lose him in January. Um, Carlos Fernandez and Danny are also in there with the assists. Carlos Fernandez is very interesting. You know, he should be scoring more goals, and he hasn't. He didn't score in the other games I played. But as you may have seen in a couple of games, he he gets the ball from crosses, and he does really really good knockdowns for on runners like Espinar, uh, Deco, Carry Underwood. So yeah, so he's he's. He's chipping in another in other areas, which I'm happy about. Um, you know, if he can just get a roll on those goals, it'd be that'd be better. Um, obviously, he'll help us. Ah, uh, yes. As you can see, I'm wearing a, a lovely '90s Aussie kit. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know you want one. I don't have Wee Joe here today, but uh, yeah. This is what I'm saying. We've we've got another injury here. John Saberio with a fractured jaw. How has he done that? A robust challenge. Who was it? I think I know who it was. I'm not usually a conspiracy theorist, but Pepe Romero, Hassan, Hamed Mohamed. I think they're trying to Bring the club down from the inside. I think they are. Uh, it's quite unfortunate because we are not stacked in the midfield department at all. Uh, he was, we've, we've basically got one rotation option, um, which was him. Uh, between the three that we play, we can deploy someone a bit higher um, and pop Adria De Mesa in there but not ideal at all. I may have to bring in a few f non contracts just to bulk up the numbers. And I didn't particularly expect games to come th this thick and fast in the Spanish third division like we're, we're basically basically playing two games a week. All right, match day. Boys, let's go. We're at home to Feral. Strong form. They've had a bit of a uh, an inconsistent form over the last few weeks. However, we are in fourth. Uh, sorry, they are in fourth and we are in 13th. Jacob's back. Welcome back, Jacob. Oh, every time he's back, I just got to put him on the bench. Fantastic stuff, Jacob. 
Welcome back, son. I'm sticking strong to Pepe Romero's never playing for me again. However, in an emergency, he may need to play. I hope you all understand. <laughs> Jordi Ortega's in for John Saberio, and we literally have no one else to put on the bench, so... Yeah. As full strength as we can, under the circumstances... Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, we line up as follows. Guerra in goal, carry on at left back, Primi and Amaya at centre back, Paris at right back, the captain, Ortega at defensive midfield, Espinar and Deco in the centre, Carry Underwood on the left, Higon on the right and Fernandez up front. They line up fairly similar, but they've got a attacking midfielder. Uh, let's... Let's hope we can get a result here. Team talk passionately. Come on, lads, show me what you can do. Calm, I have faith in you. Never disappoints. That's a lie. Let's play. Come on, boys. Early yellow card. System wants us to play more direct, which is strange. Again, we've got the line share, possession. We've got a highlight. It's a corner. I'm still on director cam. Let's play it on. Oh, was that a... Was that Moya? I think it was. Let's change the camera up. Sorry. All right, we've had the, the only chance of the match so far. Nine shots, four on target. They've had two with none on target. We're playing well. We're dominating against a side that's fourth in the league. They've had a chance there. All right, well, we head in. Absolutely killing him, but no goal advantage. Assertive, we've been the better team here. We have been the better team here. You fools. Let's try to recover it a little bit, and we do somewhat. Okay. Let's get, let's get going. Come on. All right, we've got a corner. Espinar. Espinar, am I? Oh, that's highlight over. Oh, and they've got a throw. It's whipped in. Primi has just walked under the f f ball. <sighs> what is he doing in this situation here? Primi. But just jump for it, mate. And we're one nil down, unfortunately. Oh, it's just. Can we come back here? Carry Underwood to Ortega. He gone Fernandez. Ortega with it out to Paras. Oh, he blazes over the bar. Let's demand a little more, actually. You know that's. I <laughs> One shot on target, one goal for them. Let's change things up. All right. We're going to go for it a little bit here. Let's get the... I mean... Ortega. Let's bring De Mesa on. Up with Fernandez. Mace is going to be my poacher. This worked against Caruxo. Uh, that's, uh, that's overworked today. Seventy gone. Can we shout anything else? Let's get creative. Come on, boys. We've deserved something here. It's them with the throw. We've stolen it. Hig on. Racing up the pitch. In acres of space. Can he cross? He does carry on. Carry! Carry! Scored again! He scored a few goals like that, and that's a brilliant play. Another great finish at the near post for Carrie Underwood. Her fourth goal of the season. Assist by one. We carry on. Let's see it again. It's cleared, carry on, races in, and uh, a lovely right-footed finish, and we've caught the keeper out off guard. 
can we can we snatch the win? 78 gone. There's another highlight. They have a throw. Can we win it back? They've whipped it in. Josselu. He's oh, it's disallowed. Again, we're getting beat in the air, which we shouldn't. All right, with that in mind, I know it's 80 gone, but uh, am I a uh, 14 marking? They they're only playing uh, one up front, and I, I I specifically want him to mark. Uh, yeah, Josselu. Just so he can beat him in the air. Like he should do. Just lose not that good in the air. I haven't looked, but <laughs> he can't be as good as Amaya. While we're here as well, anyone having a poor game? Higon is. Danny Vega is going to come on just for some fresh legs. I would, probably would have liked to pop Maui out there, actually, but I'm going to get, put him as an inverted winger to change it up a little bit. Let's give him some faith. He's deep in thought. Let's get to it. 82. Can we snatch? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really push for it because a draw is still not a terrible result. 89. 90. They've got a free kick. Can we steal it? Can we steal it? Villarajo to Kike. Back to Fornos. Ray P. <laughs> Back to Fornos. Out to Ray J. Ray J and Ray V. He's got to be offside. Guerra with the save. He wasn't. Is that highlight over? I think it might be. That was a pretty good opportunity. He rolls it out to Amaya. We're continuing on here. Who blasts it forward. Deco picks it up. Espinar. Fernandez to Demesa. Back to Fernandez. Oh, ho, 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 ho. he picks out the top corner from 25 yards. That's an absolute thunderbolt. Let's see it again. Fernandez to Demeso. <laughs> has a shot deflected. It's an outside the boot curving away from the keeper. It's a brilliant shot and a brilliant goal. And we've got a highlight after the goal. And I can't make any changes. Oh, God. Fornos knocks it forward. It's Guerra. Oh, Guerra. Oh, my God. Pick it up, you mug. Ray P. Ray P. Ray P to Josselu, don't dare, oh. They've scored straight after we scored. He wasn't even looking, oh. Guerra. This is what happens when our keepers go on international duty. Now, that is a bitter, bitter pill to swallow, that. <laughs> oh. All right. No, that's not too bad. It's a good result, and it's a good performance against a team that is fourth in the league. Yeah, I appreciate your efforts. Danny Espinar and Ortega are switched off. But the majority are happy. Keeps us above the drop zone. Oh, God, that's frustrating, isn't it? The ball comes back to Guerra, and he just... Just pick it up. It's because I didn't have time to change the tactics and go back to distribute slowly. Because I'm still on distribute quickly. You know, it... Maybe there should be, you know, was there an option for me to to change my tactics while the highlight was going? I don't think so. Okay, let's praise Fernandez. Superb in front of goal. It's a brilliant finish from him. I thought we thought we snatched it. Now it's those results are tough to take, but but you you, you know. You got to take what you can get. You know we've been poor early on in the season, and you know to get a draw against fourth in the league, it's not too bad. 
um, and to dominate the match as well. It, it means fundamentally there's things we're doing right, um, and I think we're just, yeah, maybe lacking a little bit of um, you know, belief in in me. Maybe the team still it doesn't trust me enough. Um, confidence, all that affects it. So. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it for, at, at there for now because I'm 40 minutes into recording and um, I don't want to make this a marathon episode. But we'll come back for the semi-final. Why not? It's the first season in and we've got a semi-final, even if it is a tin pot cup, you know, it's still a cup. Um, I'll bring you that on Monday. Um, for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment tweets everything you can i really really appreciate it and it does help the channel grow and me grow as a content creator as well i'm loving bringing the content to the world or the few viewers that are watching but nevertheless i'm still loving it and i hope you are too we'll see you soon for more